How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a good week. Uh, last week I posted a video and Steve-O actually asked me if I'd break down one of the licks I did in there. Um, so I thought that would be fun. Um, it's because it's a lick I do all the time. It's one of the things that I guess are, are kind of um, make up my, my style a lot when I improvise. Um, it's in the key of E. And when I'm in the key of E, I like to use open strings a lot because there's so many of them that are in that key, especially the high E and high B are the, you know, the one and the five of, of the, the chord that the key we're in. So, you know, E's the root note, B's the fifth. They work over pretty much anything in the key. I do that a lot and then add licks. So this lick, uh, it's on those two strings and it's basically playing the E major scale on the B string, um, you know. And then letting the E, the high E note ring with it. Um, there's a lot of songs that do that, something like That's one that does it. Keith Urban. Um, I'm sure there's a thousand more of those two just, just off the top of my head do it. Um, so anyways, the one I'm doing is I'm on the B string. I start down on the A, which is the four in the key of E. Um, and I, that's on the 10th fret. So I'm playing that. And I actually start the lick with my middle finger. And I hybrid pick the whole thing, so pick and fingers. So middle finger is on the high E string, and I play that, and then I play this A on the B string, uh, and then I pull off to the open note. So, like that. And all I do is just walk that back down the scale. So it's on the 10th fret, the 9th fret, the 7th, the 5th, the 4th, the 7th. Um, and then I just go back up, but when I go back up, uh, I don't remember exactly how I did it in the video, but I just tend to skip, you know, frets, essentially. So I might go like, uh, four, seven, five, nine, seven, and then I know in the video I ended it, uh, I, I just walked up the scale right here, I went, bent to the sixth, played the bottom string of my pinky, so that's that high E again. you want to stick on the end. Anything like that, you know. Um, so the whole thing sounds like. Or, or however, that's, that's the basic idea. And you can do anything right there. You know, you don't have to do the pull-offs. You can... Too. So if you wanted to play minor pentatonic like that instead of E major or even like E natural minor, that would work great. You know, anything like that would be cool. So you could switch back and forth. Um, here's how it would actually sound over the backing track. I guess I just I love looks like that and I love the key of E that you can do them. There's another look that I do all the time. It's because you can't do that in every key open. Um, I really like pedal tones. So another one I do all the time is like if, if you're playing out of that pentatonic shape, the first pentatonic shape, like any pentatonic shape, but we'll do E since we're in E. Um, and I guess this is just extra because Steve didn't ask me about this lick, but a lot of times I would play the root note 
with my this finger and my pick, and then I will walk up the scale to that note. So I actually played all the notes up to it, so it sounds like. You know, you can add whatever you want to the end. Sometimes I'll go back and forth. It makes a great little repeat lick. So um, there's just there's a ton of ways to play those kinds of licks with with pedal tones, even without open strings. And they work in other keys too. There's other keys where you can you can sneak in the open notes, but that's just a good way to move that kind of lick around, you know, and, and you don't have to worry about open strings. But anyway, so again, the one the one that Steve asked me about is just So, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will try my best to answer them. Have a great week. Thank you, guys.